All right. Hey, everybody. It's January 31st, 2023. And you are here at the Chaos Community Weekly Hangout Call. And I'm Elizabeth, Chaos Community Manager. As always, this meeting is um, under our code of conduct, just a reminder to everybody. And also, you can totally keep your camera off. Just interact with us on the chat over to the side or wherever it is, I guess, on your screen. Um, that would be awesome. And we all, we're going to start just reminding everybody like what the call is going to be about, because I think we have a lot of newcomers that might not be sure. So this is the meeting where we just connect every week and kind of go over things that are happening in the community. Announcements are made. We have community discussions and it's super chill and I'm glad you're here. So that being said, let me go ahead and share. My Every week I struggle with this. Why? Well, someday I'm going to just do it super smooth and y'all are going to be like, what happened? And I'll be like, I don't know. Okay, let's uh, just also as a reminder, we are splitting this meeting in half. Next week we'll go back to regular, but um, for now we're going to just chop this meeting in half to leave some time at the end for last minute ChaosCon stuff. Um, so a uh, reminder quickly, no web content comment or communications working group on Thursday because of FOSTEM and ChaosCon. A lot of folks are going to be traveling and preparing for ChaosCon, et, et cetera. So all those three meetings will be canceled on, um, on Thursday. Um, there's also been some changes recently to risk evolution and the communications working group. So um, just a reminder, uh, here's the calendar. Just like look at that <laughs> because that will always be updated. You can subscribe to it also here down here. I think if you click that, you can subscribe to it. That way it will always be up to date on your end, hopefully. Um, but yeah, you can always refer to this as like this one sole source of truth. It will pull from this calendar to put it in Slack. So that's where those come from. This is the source of truth right here. Uh, next reminder is that we do have an onboarding meeting for newcomers. So, um, yay. So quick uh, update on that. That meeting is a little bit different than our office hours because that meeting is going to be more of a presentation style with Ruth and myself. We have slides. We're super professional when, <laughs> when we do it. I'm just kidding. Um, it's still it's still fine, um, but the office hours are way more informal it's come and go as you want you just pop in you can ask questions to us, you can hang out with us. Um, it's it's super chill so that's kind of the difference and those office hours happen every week on Tuesday today a couple hours before this meeting happens. So. Um, and then, of course, a final reminder here is chaos con is Friday hooray. So you'll see some of us not at meetings this week. Um, I will be at all the meetings because I'm not leaving my house <laughs> if I don't have to. So um, yeah, I'll be here. Um, but I know we're excited about ChaosCon on Friday. We did want to mention we are not live streaming. We're not able to do that this time. Um, but I think Matt is going to try to pop some things in Slack in the ChaosCon channel. Matt, is that right? Yep, that's right. Awesome. And then. Um, um, I will try to take those and also put them out on Twitter. There might be a delay because I'm not getting up that early in the morning anymore. Um, so oh. there might be a little delay, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we will record, I think, what we can or what makes sense to record. There's yeah. a lot of like, in-person conversations, I think, happening at this Chaos Con. It's a little different than our, our traditional, um, you know, present a thing. Um, it's a lot more interactive, so... Um, Sean, did you want to say something about that? Nope. We're just uh, we're going to record the things that, like you said, make sense to record. So presentations, yes. Breakout groups, no. Gotcha. Yep. Makes sense. Sophia right. had a question for you too in chat. Who did? Um, scroll down here. Oh, yeah. Share the deck from oh. the onboarding session. Yes. Actually, I wanted to talk about to Ruth about that. We really need to update it because Ruth and I, when we started these, we just kind of pulled from. I don't even know who put these together. <laughs> To be perfectly honest, I don't know where they came from, but Ruth and I've been using them and they're not maybe the most up to date. Uh, yeah. Things, so they, they really do need a refresh. Um, yeah, I'm just going to, I think I'm opening, I don't know how fast that will be. We also need to update like the slide design because like the new one looks way, way better. Yeah. So I'm 
going to open an issue in case it gets fixed week four tomorrow. So I'll just open the issue right now. Yeah, then, that's awesome. Thank you, Ruth, for doing that. Um, I will be happy to share. I'll share a link um, in here. I don't have it on top of my head. If, if Ruth, if you have easy access to it, awesome. If not, we'll just put it here. In the yeah, minute. I'll, share the link. I'll share the link on the chat. Sure. Okay, perfect. perfect. So basically, we just go over everything about chaos, all the different moving parts, how they all kind of fit together, and what our mission is, like what, how we work, those kinds of things. So it's pretty high level, but yeah. I'm going to stop here. Any questions about any of these reminders? Yep, okay. Um, guess what, everybody? We banned our first Slack spammer. Woohoo! Woo. I think we decided we've like made it big now, and that should be a metric. It's like <laughs> how you know that you're awesome. Is that when you start to attract? You have the attention Slack of the dark side. That's it. That's it. We are. Whatever you are is eye. monetizable enough. That's it. We're in the eye of Sauron. No. Um, so I just wanted to mention that that is a thing now. Um, and so if people could do me a favor and help just identify them. I want to thank um, Ruth and Dawn and Midday. I think Midday was the other person who brought that up. Um, just help me see that because I miss things a lot. So um, if you see something, just let me know and I'll be happy to ban them, delete, whatever, whatever we need to do. We'll, we'll take care of it. So thank you to everybody for kind of helping out with that. Um, the next thing is we released our DEI survey. Um, so you all remember we did in October, if you do remember, we um, launched a community survey and we asked a bunch of questions about our community. So uh, this is actually two parts. The um, analysis of that survey is in the works and we will be, um, our DEI audit team is, <clears throat> will be looking at those and making recommendations and how we can make our community more welcoming, more inclusive based on the results of that survey. But in the meantime, we have um, just put these out here for whoever other open source projects that might be um, wanting to do a similar survey, maybe don't know where to start. So we just kind of talk about our survey and like, here's the here are the questions we used so that other people can just run the survey themselves. So I just want to let everybody know that we put that out there in case you didn't see that. And also, um, we are going to be talking about that uh, as is put here, the um, we are going to talk about it at FOSTEM and I think at ChaosCon also, maybe a little bit of a conversation. That's, yeah, that's the plan. It's just to put it on um, lightning talks. So it'd be really short, but yeah. Yeah. So if you are going to be at FOSTEM, um, please check out that community dev room if you want to learn more about that survey and um, how that went. And that will be presented by our, actually by our DEI audit team with support from uh, folks at chaos, but also, um, yeah, they'll be the ones presenting mostly. Yeah, Dustin and Christy are the two that will probably present the entire yeah. team. All right, any questions about any of that? Oh, and Ruth linked to the presentation that we had been using. So you'll be able to tell it needs a little it needs a little love, but we'll get to that. We'll get there. I made that. <clears throat> you did? <laughs> I think yeah, so. When like, did you make that? Like years like ago? When, yeah, probably like when, yeah, like probably five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we we do we do use it still, obviously, but we, um, you know, mentioned that there are different things that might not be. And I think Ruth and I did kind of tweak them a little, but they, they do need a, a little re refresh. So thank you, Matt. I'm really glad actually that you mentioned that because Ruth and I were both like, I have no idea where these came from, but okay. So now we know who to thank or blame, whichever. You're very, you're very yeah. like, you can blame on these as I look at them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are these are. We've actually got a decent a deck that is more recent than this because we don't really have software and metrics groups separate anymore. But yeah, yeah. Good times. Okay. So anyway, so oh, go ahead. No, no, I was just, Sean said there's like a recent deck, maybe, Sean, do you? No, this, I actually, I actually scrolled down a little bit. I can see this one's been updated and just additive. There's a different recent deck, but this is a fine, this is good. Okay. I said that, and then I scrolled down. This, this helps for orienting, I think, pretty well. 
Does he? Because they you added the working groups in there. Yeah. But I, I agree. It could use some <laughs> some care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might not happen by tomorrow, but we'll be ready for March. <laughs> I can help with that too if you want to kind of include me in that. Sounds good. Thanks, Matt. All right. Um, the next thing is very exciting. Hooray! We are we are launching Discourse tomorrow. I'm personally super excited about this. I don't know if anybody else is. If not, that's completely fine. I'm excited. And um, it may work, it may not. I, we'll just see if the community ends up using it. If we don't, that's also valid. Um, it's hoping to replace, no, that's not right. It is going to replace <laughs> our mailing lists, which are super old and like literally like the list serve Linux like interface not easy to find things not easy to join like it's it's a little bit old school so we're hoping to at least refresh a little and move to discourse for some longer conversations that will be searchable and findable um discoverable i should say um, a little bit easier than slack so we're hoping to use that for like longer conversations or, or conversations that we kind of know we might need to reference later um, and then Slack would be more, I think, informal and, you know, some asynchronous or synchronous, um, quick chats, uh, announcements, whatever. And I, you know, that might change, but that's kind of where we're thinking right now. So starting tomorrow, um, keep an eye on Slack because that's probably where the, where you'll get the information, the link to join. And we really will encourage everyone to join and start opening some topics if there's stuff on your mind. It might take us a while to kind of get it going, um, but if you um, once we launch it, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask in the general channel. Um, we'll be happy to answer those. So look forward to that tomorrow. Hooray, hooray. And to that point, like two down the email archives. Aha. Uh -huh. Email yes. lists are shut down. So they're they're gone. So members still exist, which is for board members, just so we can kind of close that out, you know, yeah. like one final call to the board, and then we'll move over to discourse for the board. But the others are shut down, and but the archives are still, are still there. So no going back. Yeah, no going back unless you oh, want to just read. <laughs> Love it. Can you check, get anybody a hard copy if they want it? That's right. So you, we can print it off for you. That's right. I will also say, uh, and Matt will attest to this, as two of the three people that get those notifications for new uh, posts and booted posts, like literally we get so much spam on those emails. Like, I don't even know, like just because we get notified every time somebody tries to send something to the list or wants to join the list. Oh my gosh, it's overwhelming. So I had actually had my phone on vibrate. And during class, I actually stopped. I had to check my phone because there was so much, <laughs> so much going on. Like I thought it might be an emergency from my family. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it was just, just... Like six spam messages in a row. <laughs> Lord. So, so selfishly, even if y'all hate discourse, Matt and I are very happy. To <laughs> so we appreciate you taking one for the team, everybody switching. <laughs> Okay, um, I am going to move this down uh, here um, because I think that's going to be a little bit longer of a conversation and I want to give Venya a little chance to talk about uh, this. So I will turn it over to you, Venya. How about it? Yeah, sure. So uh, for the comms working um we've been thinking about how we're going to be using the uh chaos episodes and we need to get started um i've just been absolutely inundated throughout all of january so i haven't been able to even consider my own content let alone chaos podcast content so we really need to get that scheduled and we're totally open to new panelists if you're interested in doing some interviews or you have some people who are doing really awesome community work and projects and they're using chaos metrics, we would really love it. 
The bad news, however, is like I said, I'm not really able to keep up in any way, shape or form with the Chaos Cast episodes that we had originally verified. I was originally hoping to get some scripting and some statements about like what's best, but it's just been Chloe and I working on this. Um, so it's, it just takes much too long. It takes too much time out of my day. Um, it was taking me like, I think two and a half hours for me to edit an hour of content down to 15 minutes without having those scripts. Uh, it would be significantly faster if we had the scripts, but because we have to watch through it in order to write down the time codes and then do it again in order to pull them down, uh, basically it's taking two full listens in order for me to do it. So if you are interested in doing Chaos Cast Bridge episodes, I think that we should wrap that into community operations. I think the easiest way to do it is for us to uh, add it to the comms working group uh, to basically be like, here's how members can just do a very, very simple two and a half long project for us. Um, Cause we're on 70 episodes for Chaos now. So there's quite a few episodes and a lot of content. So. We really need some human volume if we're going to continue that project. Um, yeah. And I think Georg had said at the last community or communications working group about chaos cast um, that we do need to put some in the pipeline, but we I don't think we'll be able to publish until after he moves. He's going through that process. So is yeah. Give him a call. Yeah. Okay. I missed yesterday, but I did look through the notes in order to make sure that I was caught up on comms working group stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you know, to to your point, Benya, these do take time to get scheduled and to get in the pipeline and then to get edited and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. we would love, like you said, we would love if people have ideas, if they would like to be, if you would like to be a panelist and you've been at Chaos for a while, we would love that. Um, just, you know, reach out. I think there's a Slack channel for Chaos Cast, right? Yeah. Um, yes, there's a specific Slack channel for Chaos Cast, but the comms working group is also going to be heavily involved in it. So you can really update us and inquire about it in either channel. The Chaos Cast is going to be strictly for the Chaos Cast, and then the comms working group is more operational. Or also, we've had we a lot of special guests on on Chaos Cast recently. That um, it might be it might be a good opportunity for us to kind of circle back with all of the projects and try to get some updates. Like I think it would be great to have Sean talk about what's been new in in Augur. And so I think maybe maybe if we get some of the kind of regulars in the in the community to do some podcasts with cool updates on interesting stuff we've been working on, that might be. We could do one on yeah. metric models. Like there's there's a lot of stuff going on. The you know the yeah, I'm always up for the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we had been as a part of the Chaos Cast abridged. We were going through reviewing <laughs> content. And when we see a need for us to uh redo that podcast, we were basically noting it down and reaching out to them. But that's yet more steps for us to manage for the chaos abridged. Um, I think it would be a good idea for people to listen and be like, I'm interested in hearing more about this project. Um, and we, the idea was to interlace um, new episodes with repeat episodes. So since we're launching every two weeks, it would be new episode, two weeks later, old episode, two weeks later, new episode um, was the idea. And it would be really cool if we had some assistance and some help figuring out which ones need to be updated. So then yeah, too, on the, um, like uh, on the abridged, are you looking for folks to take that, that hour long podcast down to 15 minutes? Is that, was that the request there? Um, so the idea is to note down the things that you found interesting about 15 minutes worth. And okay. then we could use that script I got you. Uh, in order to just pull I those see. minutes and seconds. Okay, so the person that would help out doesn't necessarily need to have any technology. It's really just sure. listening and jotting it down in a, a document. 
that they could exactly turn. and okay. it's literally just here's the start timestamp here's the end timestamp here's um a title that you would call that section okay. and then we would uh toss it up onto youtube and youtube has a chapter feature so we would essentially name each section um what you want to call it and gotcha. since it's launching on YouTube, that would allow one for a completely new channel and two for significantly easier access because it could go alongside our weekly meetings as like regular content. <clears throat> that makes sense. I'm wondering if we should, Elizabeth, like repost this request, whether in Slack. It seems like a pretty um, easy request to attend to for folks just to listen to a podcast episode and just, it doesn't sound like you're, then yeah, I mean, it sounds like anybody can pick out whatever they find to be interesting, whatever that might be in the episode. Exactly. So. Yeah. I'm wondering if and we pick should... a couple of episodes that nobody's looked at yet and do them as good first issues. That's um, exactly yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. It seems like folks are looking for like issues specifically that that can be assigned to them. So that might be something we need to think about. That's a great idea, Don. Yeah. Um. One other. And we'll probably talk about this in the working group, but there is another advantage to wrapping the chaos of bridge uh, episodes into chaos instead of doing it on socially constructed. And that's that you can now reach out to those sponsors who sponsored the full episodes to ask if they'd be willing to sponsor the abridged episodes. Okay. Yeah, I think we just have the one sponsor, Sustain OSS. So I'm not sure. I think that might be a question for Georg, actually. We can put that in. I think he kind of negotiated all of that and set that all up. Yeah. I like that the uh, sponsorship is for Sustain. That's yeah. A really good name. <laughs> Yeah, they're awesome. They're an awesome open source project. Yeah. Is there anything anyone else wants to say on this? Um, the only, otherwise, I think, I think I'm done. <laughs> okay, I was just going to say, I think one thing that came up, I don't know whether it was in the call last week or one of the communication calls, just about new episodes, is that we're kind of leaning towards <clears throat> working groups being around, say, like OSPOs or academic OSPOs or community managers or event planners and trying to coordinate perhaps one or two podcasts around that topical area. Yeah. So, the, so an idea one that, would be theory focused and one would be metrics focused? Um, it, I don't think we got down to that level. It was mostly just trying to say, let's do a few podcasts with say OSPO managers at different organizations, <sighs> you know, and those three would kind of be grouped together. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did consider talking about, uh, and we had this idea at the very, very beginning of chaos, you can actually see them, was us having a fireside chat, which doesn't have any guests in any way, shape or form. It just has a few regular panelists who just come together to talk. Uh, so we could possibly look at doing a fireside chat kind of thing. Um, as well. So that would be three different types of podcasts run by three different kinds of teams. And one wouldn't require that we add additional guests. So it'll be significantly easier for us to be consistent, to run content and to make it regularly entertaining and have a brand around it. I like that idea. That's good. All right. Thank you, Venya. This is awesome. And um, we'll look at opening some issues. Maybe we can get some participation from some new folks that way. Uh, any final comments before we close this meeting? Uh, this, I think we might have to wait till next time and when we have a little bit more time and we're not rushed because of ChaosCon, because um, there are some deeper conversations to have here. Uh, how we move forward. So is that okay with everybody if we kind of hold on that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Any final comments before we close? Questions? Anything? Okay. 
All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, if you are on the Chaoscom Planning Committee, you want to stick around. Otherwise, you're free to go and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll stop the recording.